second district in northwest Missouri, all of the four counties, uh, Harrison County, where I live in Bethany, Davies County, Gentry, and <coughs> Cabot County. And uh, I have for your uh, you today consideration some legislation I've sponsored uh, in the past. This is the second uh, time that I've uh, offered the language for consideration. And uh, I really brought it, anybody who represents a rural district understands this, the dilemma that we're in. Um, but I would say probably all over the state they, uh, they can identify the uh, issues relating to prevailing wage that we have to deal with um, mm -hmm. on a number of levels. But in my home county, in Harrison County, this is the, um, I believe they have attempted in the last couple of years three times to, um, to build a new, a new school uh, in South Harrison. And uh, South Harrison is one of 19 school districts that I represent. Um, in my old district, I represented 26 school districts. And I can say, um, without hesitation, um, having uh, deliberately met with every school district um, on this topic since I've been elected, that uh, this is probably one of the biggest issues facing them. Uh, in my lifetime, of those school districts, uh, there has only been uh, one school uh, built. And I don't know if there is uh, a school district in my district or my old district that could say that they don't have serious structural issues with their buildings that they have or serious um, repairs that need to be made that they flat out cannot afford to do um, and they will not have an ability to afford to do it. So back to South Harrison, they have tried three times to build this new school. Um, they have not been able to uh, get the voters to approve by less than 1% sometimes. So we sometimes meet the majority uh, requirement, but not the super majority percentage that's required at times whenever it's at, at the ballot. Uh, there needs to be some changes made to our policy as it relates to prevailing wage to simply allow some of these school districts in these rural areas like I represent to have the ability to make the necessary repairs to their, to their buildings uh, or to build the new schools that needs to be built. I'm not asking for it, uh, what I view drastic changes to prevailing wage policies all across the state. I'm just asking uh, for the General Assembly to consider some meaningful, uh, deliberate changes that would allow some of these school districts like mine to do uh, what they need to do. And I wish I had some pictures that I could pass around or you could see some of the school districts' uh, buildings that they have to deal with. Um, it is. Uh, it should be concerning to anyone to see how old some of these structures are, how um, far in disrepair some of them are, and just how desperately these school boards and administrators uh, want to fix these problems. But uh, considering uh, all things as it relates to their finances in the district, it's only becoming increasingly um, difficult. So that's why I, I have been working on this issue. And that's why I brought it uh, to you all for your consideration. I'd be happy to take uh, any questions that you might have. Mm -hmm. Any committee members have questions for the sponsor? Representative May? Clarification. So on your bill, I just want to get an understanding. Your, uh, your bill is saying that you're allowing school districts to exempt themselves and be able to charge wages or get wages that are lower than what the prevailing wage is in that county or that <coughs> district. Is that accurate? More in line with what uh, the counties can afford, especially in the rural areas. Well, what about what's already on, what the Department of Labor has already established what the prevailing wage is for most counties and rural areas around the state. So we're saying we want to be less than what they've already allocated, what they've already said is the prevailing wage for that area. So we're saying the counties can't afford what's already been determined as the prevailing wage for that area. If they could afford it, we would have had certainly more school districts build new facilities or repair the facilities that they've gotten or add on to the, to the facilities that, they've, that they currently have. Okay. Is there a, do you, I don't know, I mean, you may not know the answer to this question, but is there, um, is there, um, how do we know, how did the Department of Labor come up with those numbers then? What was, I, you know, I'm just interested in what was the consideration for those numbers.
for those various counties? Uh, I'm definitely not an expert on okay, Maybe somebody else in the I room. I would imagine that there's probably somebody right, who can answer that question better than me. Okay. I, I can't <coughs> proclaim to be an expert on how all prevailing wage numbers are, or even exactly how all of these districts are, are divided up. Um, okay. I would say someone could probably better answer that question. Okay, thank you. Sorry, Mr. Speaker. I meant to say permission to inquire. Sorry. Uh, Representative Guernsey, uh, they've tried three times. Do you have they given you any rough numbers on the cost savings or what they feel they'd be able to save with your bill or uh, percentages? I, mean, I, I realize you know they haven't gotten it done, so they're they've modified every time they brought it back to uh, the voters. They've modified their their plan, they either scaled it back or um, changed the financing options. Uh, I believe in one plan, my brother's on the board for South Harrison, so we talk about it at dinner every Sunday, and that's pretty much all we talk about at dinner every Sunday. <laughs> uh, and I, I want to say if they could, um, if we could uh, affect the labor policies as it relates to prevailing wage uh, positively for a rural community, they could save in the double digit percentile in their uh, costs to, to construct. Thank you. But very significant. It would, if we could make this one policy change just for schools, um, I don't think that there's districts who would even need to go back to the voters to finance the, the reconstruction or construction of, of, of school buildings. Thank you. 